The new star sits now for 3.24 P2U pass just draft for Evil Cardi. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribe and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. All right, guys, this one is going to be pretty straightforward. Test focus remains the same. Uh, this one, they made an update under Core Tech. It says um, ultra wide UI updates stopped markers from not inheriting scale because that breaks one aspect ratio above 16 by 9. They removed the logic which was offsetting markers up when going more wide screen. This patch has a few bug fixes as well. They fixed an issue where the player drags their current equipment under suit into the item bank. The item bank UI disappears and leaves the player trapped until they hit I. That's interesting. They fixed an issue of when an instant hanger is assigned an exit door, the external door does not open properly. They fix an issue where fish tank can't be moved out of the freight elevator. They fix an issue where entering pad in a personal hanger teleports you away. They fix an issue where ship stuck in retrieving state after attempting to retrieve with player on landing pad. They fix an issue where retrieving ship on personal hangar ASOP teleports player outside. <laughs> That's interesting. They fix an issue where elevators from personal hangars, the spawning and leaving players out of bounds. They fix an issue where NB TAC night vision scopes have the same description as the standard version so that's a confirmation that the night vision scopes are in it was it was leaked in the in the game files when we found it but we didn't actually get official confirmation that it's actually in this build so that's interesting so we're gonna have night vision scopes probably not you probably may not find them in stores but they probably will be found on npcs that you kill in the pu so um it's going to be interesting i'm gonna be grinding a little bit just a find all of them all right so uh they fix an issue where guide to stanton wildlife journal entry planet name is incorrect they fix an issue where cargo attached to the vehicle cargo grid sometimes becomes intangible on ship death they fix an issue where you're unable to retrieve vehicle at new babbage personal hangars they fix an issue where while using the slider there SCU box selection does not remain highlighted. They fix an issue where grenades are dropped at the actor's feet when thrown. <laughs> Man, these bug, <laughs> these these fixes are uh, are interesting. Man, just imagine uh, being trolled like that by the server. That's really interesting. Along with this, is two client crashes, two uh, hybrid crashes as well. Um, in other news, um, this. Thursday, uh, Inside Stars is actually going to be interesting. So the name of it is going to be Pyro Base Activities, Contested Zones, and Asteroid Bases. So these are going to be new uh, mission types that we're going to see. They didn't mention a little bit of this um, in a roadmap roundup. I think I did a video on that uh, about a week ago where uh, groups of players will get a mission. Well, these missions, I believe, are more geared towards groups of players, but I think solo people can actually also do it as well, where you would, NPCs will take over a space station and you'll need to um, uh, take it over. And uh, there will be some aspects where uh, you, you can progress through, um, through this mission to get, to unlock certain doors to uh get certain uh loot uh really interesting loot um at the end of it so it's going to be interesting so we're going to find out more about that before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you're interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll see you on the next one take care